Welcome to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of October 23rd, 2023, Part 2. This week's theme is Colors. What's Your Favorite Color? by Eric Carle and Friends. Yellow, Eric Carle. My favorite color is yellow. Why? One, most children put a yellow sun in their pictures. Two, yellow for me is a very difficult color. When you mix yellow with another color, it quickly becomes kind of muddy. If I use red and put another color in it, it stays red. And if I use blue and mix it with another color, it remains blue. But the minute that I put yellow in another color or mix another color into yellow, it becomes muddy. So it's a challenge for me. And that's why yellow is my favorite color. Blue, Brian Collier. Blue is my favorite color. On rainy days, I call them blue days, I would buy a bunch of blue balloons for my daughter just to make her smile and brighten up the day. I know there will always be rainy days and my daughter still has the power to light up my world, but I still go out and buy balloons and bunches of blue. My favorite color is mint because I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mike Carrado. Brown, William Lowe. Brown is the color of my old neighborhood in the Bronx. I love to watch the buildings, the people, and the number six train weaving in and out of the afternoon sunlight. Indigo, Etienne de la Serre. The Tuareg nomads wear long indigo veils. They herd camels and goats and talk to the spirits of the Sahara Desert. Purple, Anna Dudney. When I was a little girl, my favorite outfit was my purple polyester pantsuit, and I wanted purple peacocks in our front yard. When I grew up, I got them. Gray by Rafael Lopez. The color I choose will surprise you because it dares to be different. No matter what others may say, artists know that gray is magic. It gets along with all the other colors and knows how to make them sparkle. Gray is smart and unique. Like the clever octopus, my good friend Gray knows how to change colors to communicate. It comes in many different shades, from warm to really cool. In some parts of the world, this flexible color even changes its spelling to gray, G-R-E-Y. When things get noisy and mixed up, gray is like a calm, deep breath. White. Lauren Castillo. I love the way snow magically paints the world white. Green. Philip C. Stead. A green frog is green and sometimes socks are green, just like yarn. An alligator is green unless it hides underwater and then it's two white eyes. Green grass is green and apples can be green. A tree is green except when it's yellow, red, or nothing at all. You know what? A green elephant is green when it wants to be. And that's why today my favorite color is green. Mexican pink, Yuyi Morales. Fiery, intense, and alive is Mexican pink. The color of bougainvillea flowers I used to cut on my way to visit my grandmother when I was a child. Maine morning gray, Melissa Sweet. Haiku for gray. Foggy morning gray makes other colors glimmer, even the gull's beak. Fog gray, silver gray, gray gray, charcoal gray, seagull gray, granite gray, pencil gray, spruce gray, anchor gray. Orange, Fran Preston Gannon. I love flaming orange. It is the color of the tiger burning bright as it creeps through the grasses of the jungle. Black, Jill McElmurray. Sometimes I imagine a place called the Black Garden. It's my own private garden, lush with trees and flowers that are dark and velvety. It's quiet and cool, even on hot days. It's wild and mysterious, but feels safe. 
The black garden is where I go to get lost in my thoughts, dance around, have a good cry, sing a song, paint a picture, or maybe eat a slice of dark chocolate cake. The black garden is unpredictable. The black garden is the garden of me. Crimson Red, Mark Martin. Crimson Red is my favorite color because it is the color of the Crimson Rosella, a parrot found in southeastern Australia, where I live. All colors, Yuri Shulovitz. I don't have a favorite color. Why not? Because a single color may feel lonely. It may want to be with the other colors. When all the colors get together, oh, what a colorful party they will have. The end. Alright, so to make puffy paint pictures, you need to make the puffy paint. Your craft to go kit is just a piece of paper. What you'll need is a bowl, some liquid glue. This is just basically like Elmer's. Um, some foamy shave foam, not the gel kind. And you'll need something to stir it with, which I have a craft stick, but you can use a spoon. And you'll need some food coloring. I'm just gonna use green. And I'm just gonna show you how to make this. All we have to do is pour some glue in, not too much. That's plenty, probably way too much. That's okay. And then we're gonna put about the same amount of foam in. It'll look like more because it foams up. So. And then you just put a few drops of food coloring in and stir it up. Make sure you get the glue all over the foam. Makes this nice green color. You can also use clear glue, it would make a more pure color. The white dilutes the coloring. Now you have this nice foamy paint. You can use your fingers, you can use a paintbrush, you can use a glue stick. I'm just gonna use, not a glue stick, a craft stick. I'm just gonna use my craft stick. I don't feel like touching it right now. You can see it's puffy, and when it dries, it'll be all puffy. So I'm just making a big circle. make a cell. <laughs> How's that? This is a germ cell. See all the little spokes that can attach itself to the healthy cells in your body. Now it's easier to control with a paintbrush or with your fingers, but again, I just didn't feel like touching it today. It does feel neat. I just didn't want my hands to be all green. And that's all you do. 
Where's my puppy feet? Picture when it's wet. We'll have to see what it looks like when it's dry. <laughs>